thanks everyone. You know, I'm reminded um, every day, and particularly on days such as this, just the fact that I have the best job in the world and how privileged I am to be your regional convener. Um, first of all, I would like to place um, on record my personal thanks to our guest speakers today. They've all been absolutely amazing. But this event would not have taken place without the hard work and commitment of our officers, and in particular Kevin Lucas, James Ball, Max, Diane, Janet Harvey, who's not here today. Um, there's far too many of you for me to name um, individually, but um, please, will you all join me in giving them a round of applause? Today is testament that the North West as a region has worked incredibly hard in the organising agenda within our union and we can be proud of the hard work and commitment of our branches and our activists and the work that they have demonstrated and continue to demonstrate against the backdrop of austerity. And this year, as we all know, we face much harder challenges. As a movement, we face the most pernicious attacks we have seen since the Thatcher era, from a government that is far more hostile than we have ever seen before. Not only are our public services significantly under attack, but our right to be able to protect those people that provide those valuable services with the proposed introduction of the Trade Union Bill. This proposed law is a malicious attempt by the government to constrain democratic, industrial and political op opposition to its austerity programme. The bill is an uncompromising and unnecessary assault on the rights and freedoms of British workers and is politically motivated vindictive attack. We must be very clear with our members that this bill is not merely an attempt to curb our ability to take industrial action. It goes much further and is a holistic assault on workers as a whole. And of course, we must, must not also forget the potential impact that this will have on our activists with the removal or the proposed removal of facility time, because our activists are members too, and they must be supported. And as we heard from Nick McCarthy this morning, the proposed removal of DOCAS within the bill can have a significantly detrimental impact on our membership figures and in turn our income. We must learn lessons from our sisters and brothers in the PCS who have seen a significant reduction in their membership figures following the removal of DOCATS. Our region has made an excellent start with our Switch Plus campaign. We are currently running pilots in the region, as you've already heard today, and early indications are positive, not only with switching existing members, but also in the recruitment of new members as well. If the DOCATS abolition doesn't go ahead, we can't take that as a sign to sit back on our laurels. We must move forward and take advantage of the organising access. And we must build our membership and put what we've learned into practice. Alongside building our membership base, we must also build our activist network. Our reps and activists are our most important resource. And we must invest our time and energy in training, mentoring, politicising, empowering, and energising them. And I'm sure you'd all agree that today has done you know, some of that really. And as Ethel said in her workshop earlier today, with the workers that she represents, they know that Ethel and her team have their backs. And I want you to know, as regional convener today, that as a region in the North West, we have your backs as activists, and we have the backs of our members. And that message must be very, very clear. We know that members prefer to have face-to-face -face communication from reps. We also know that our members often trust us to deliver messages more than any other medium, whether it's friends and family or whether it's media. We've got to take advantage of that, and we have got to grow an army in the North West who are prepared to stand up and fight against the unfair and unnecessary cuts and austerity we see every day in our workplaces, our communities and our society as a whole. We know only too well that we are at our strongest and most effective when we stand together to oppose cuts. 
We will continue our dedicated recruitment weeks throughout all service groups and organise effective campaigns. Our regional leadership school will also run against this year, helping us to effectively succession plan and ensure our union is fit for purpose. And after Jane's workshop today, perhaps my challenge to you is following today to go out and identify the organic leaders in your workplaces and your branches. If they're not a member, go out and recruit them. Turn them into a, a member and turn them into a future leader of this organisation and get them booked on the leadership school. In addition, we will take every opportunity to engage and energise our branches and our leaders. We will continue our work on the devolution agenda to get the best possible outcomes for our members. The next few months will also see the regional compact being launched. It will see a much more structured approach to communication between branches and regional office and will set out clear expectations on both sides. Branches should feel supported by region, but equally, branches should engage in the democratic structures of our union and be committed to achieving units and objectives. We have a great deal to be proud of in our region. We have fantastic activists and staff and continue to be ahead of our game in the agenda to ensure the longevity of our union. From defending jobs and terms and conditions to switching members from JoeCast to direct debits, we have a proven track record of successful campaigning in the North West. But we can't afford to be complacent. Today isn't about passing ourselves on the back, it's about recognising the scale of the challenge that we face ahead and reaching out to see what we can do better, to see how we can meet those challenges that we face and meet them head on. So now is the time to step up a gear and every one of us needs to do everything we can to build a stronger, tougher, more active organising union here in the North West. We are already good but when we start to adopt more of the skills and strategies that we've heard today, I know that our region will be absolutely unstoppable. So when you return to your workplaces and branches, talk to Unison colleagues about today. Go through the Unison Northwest 10 steps to successful organising and agree a plan of action to build a stronger, tougher and more active Unison Northwest. We must always remember that together we are stronger. And one of the most clear messages that I will take from today is that we can't be frightened to go back to basics. And as my sisters on the panel have so eloquently said today, together we will win. Thank you.